<laughs> oh la la yeah. yeah so um took some time off it was pretty good went to uh gaspe where my in-laws live it was pretty cool i i got some back problems i was less active than uh plan but uh, it was pretty cool um and uh what i was about to say just confused everything is different why is it oh maybe because i move my screen i have full flare i have so much flare i don't know I did some kayaking, a little bit of photography. I have a new lens that I bought like earlier also. I received a Kickstarter keyboard that I, that uh, a mechanical, mechanical but slim keyboard with up swappable switches and everything. And I'm not using it today because the new keycap I put on top of it, I had like two set of keycap. The new keycap are darker, so nice but they are super reflective and if you miss and you're interested just say it in chat and i will show it again um what did i do yeah photo travel a lot of like so gas bay from montreal is about 11 hours of, of car so like it's a lot of kilometer away so that's a long trip in car but it was cool just my wife and i my daughter was working but uh, anyone from took time off holiday vacation in the past few weeks anything you want to share in the chat between us and CB Just working and enjoying the weather otherwise. Hey, game year. Oh, yeah. Are you, any vacation plan for uh, like August or September? Like um, Shirley Dev. Shirley Dev. Trying to, to say your name correctly. That's resolution of mid year. <laughs> oh, damn it. I'm happy to stream like I'm very I feel like this morning I was like oh I'm not prepared like set up I didn't test it but I was like I want to keep my habit of streaming every Friday so let's do it and it will be fun oh so you had vacation what, like what do you say like just enjoying working but then July was yesterday so you took vacation then game year did you do anything special did you travel doesn't need to be far, but just like, did you just chill at home or did you go somewhere? Went to Italy. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Went to Italy and some chilling at home. That's nice. My wife is going to Italy for uh, Ironman in uh, September, I think. Is it September or October? I think it's uh, October. My memory forget some stuff that are less prioritized. <laughs> you know, I have a priority setting and. My Cloudy's names are important. That's why I remember Stefan names instead of H-Y. But, you know, for the others, I remember your, I remember that I already see, saw you. Okay, so it's now the result. There it is. So we'll be riding ducks. So two cloudies vote. Thank you all for your time. <laughs> and uh, it's good because we are right now in 
a Z URL shortener. Cool. So okay, excellent. So you know what? Let's add some stuff. So um, let's to do add. I don't know. Maybe I should wait and and see where we are. Let's let's go in the URL shortener. So in the URL shortener, that's the current design right now. I added recently way more contributor. So I had those two contributors. Ducks, ducks, duck. Stepan, don't mess with me. You know. You know what I mean. So I had two new contributors. Uh, I was cleaning a little bit the um, pull requests and stuff like that. There's a lot of issue I'm not doing right now because I'm changing so much stuff. Uh, so like I want to clean up everything. One thing also I remove was, oh no, I didn't remove it. Oh, maybe I did it, but in the other branch. So that's one thing. Um, you know how much I, lo I love the Git Kraken uh, boards? That's going away. So um, I need to migrate it. And like, obviously I will remove that change of contribution. Maybe I will also do videos um, to help people start contributing. I don't know. Do you think that's, you know, by a hands up, do you think referencing videos in github is a good idea for example how to get started how to you know get started like i mean locally let's say this tool you want to contribute so it's how to contribute how to clone and what do you need and things like that how to set up your environment to clone this thing the az url shortener like or any other project does a video would be a good idea or text come on Frank let's get up just text I don't want to see any video so by ends there's a video is a good idea or like maybe a thumbs up do you have thumbs up thumbs down or just put video or text in the chat yeah video or text um, I start doing that at the office one project I help to do that was should I have waited your uh, your result so this I don't know if you know this project let me put that in the chat if you're interested uh, fluent UI uh, it's JavaScript it's a UI, UI web and um, I help them so now they will be sharing videos so here we have like a, a video um, of them and we'll put different episode over there to explain what it is and different other project that are not live yet so I cannot share but under the Microsoft uh, account uh, I'm, I'm reaching out to different project and or creating different episode to explain a feature so in this case it was like positioning how to use that so if you click that it will open a YouTube video very well done those guys are pros um, very very nice um, yeah sometimes it's like how to contribute sometimes it explain the solution I'm, th I'm thinking about very very complex uh, solution so like the PM was like yeah let's try to open Visual Studio with all the projects and explain let's say you want to add a feature how could you do that and things like that Video are cool to uh, to watch. I like manual step additional better text video to update. Yeah, well, I'm Sam saying like obviously text. It's GitHub, so you need to have text. But an addition of video could be interesting. I think that's my 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 thought. I know a lot of people are reaching out when they see a blog or something and say, hey, "Could you do a video of that? Can you do a video explaining how to do this?" And I'm like, yeah, that would be cool. I just need more time. <laughs> Me video are low pri prior. Uh, as a consum consumer, much harder to find the info. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. 
yeah. Uh, as a maintainer, video, yeah, can't be. No, 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 it's harder because, um, yeah, that's what I was saying. Maybe like, um, I know, for example, uh, Azure Function was doing that uh, for a long time. I, I'm not sure if they are still doing it or even like um, Logic App was also doing that, having like a monthly stream where they uh, they share the updates. My, my, my point was like, there's tons of video on YouTube that could be useful for the GitHub community. And we should try to make a connection, say, hey, like this is the video we have, even like fan base. So let's say, Gameyard, you do a video explaining the AZ URL shortener, your experience, your tips and tricks, maybe because my docs was not good. And for some reason, you didn't offer, like you didn't do um, a PR to update the, the, the docs instead. You do a video, you share your thoughts and how to do that and blah, blah, blah. I could say, hey, this is a good video. Let's reference it. So I thought it was just a good idea. But yeah, like text obviously is the first. It's searchable and uh, you could copy paste way faster, right? That's I think what you mean. Uh, Stefan, when you say manual steps, I want to copy paste this. It's easy to kind of scan through and just dig in the section we don't know. That's good, like good input, I like that. Excellent, okay. So back to URL shortener. So this is the current version right now and we're working on version three. I know if even if the project is young, this new version is, in, uh, bring major breaking changes so I had no other choice to go by one digit so that's why it's vnex v3 oh that's that Frank go in your corner uh, like this kind of oh, well, like you don't see me zoom I look like I'm looking outside at least now when I look over there you think I'm looking at the <laughs> the code, but I'm hiding it. Yeah, see. Oh, and I found. Oh, how was it again? It was. Oh, I forgot. This? No. What? Uh, oh, I forgot how to zoom. That's not what I want. I want, uh, was it the shortcut? Alt super, at alt super, alt. Oh, but I do I, is it alt? Let's try it. Yeah. That's cool. Now I can zoom it. Deed -a -deed. Not bad, right? And if I do, I think Alt plus, no minus. What is it? Alt super. Okay, I still need to do the two. So I could zoom out a little bit or zoom more and more. This is the grass. Right? But now I could do that when I want to show stuff. Say, hey. So it's part of Ubuntu. That's cool. Discovered that the other, last stream I was looking for something to replace Zoomit. That's a tool I use a lot when I uh, present or stream or do videos. Uh, like I zoom super close and then I could write. Uh, to write on the screen, I think I uninstalled it, but there was an app, but well, it was confusing. So I. 
I don't know. I removed it. I uninstalled it. And it was it was using uh, a different app store. Like you know, you do app apt get install to install on on Linux. I'm on Linux, by the way. I'm running Ubuntu 2022 2204 Not talking about the year. I'm talking about Ubuntu version. So yeah, Ubuntu 20. Uh, Neo Fetch. There it is. Ubuntu 20. 204 LTS. Okay, so V3. That's not very big. Boom, boom, boom. Let's bump it up. And I'm still in the way. Frank, other corner. And I'm not looking outside this monitor. I'm looking at my. Oh, I could flip it. Should I flip it? No, I don't flip it. Okay. Oh, but then the chat will be on top of my of me. Ha <laughs> ha! Right? I will have the chat in my face. Oh no! Look how smart I am. I flip also the chat. That's cool. That day I was I was awake. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Do I have that? It, at this moment in you. I don't have that. How do I have that sound? But apparently I don't. Okay, so an hour later, it will be a setting. Figure it out one minute left for the stream. Exactly, Amir. Um, yeah. So um, I was just looking for sounds, right? Exactly. Okay. So uh, I, I start modifying that, so we want to use that. Um, we will need to change the deploy. I will need to deploy, we'll need to, uh, we'll, we'll need to do a lot of work. So here did I, okay, see here, I did remove the the repo okay so let's start from the main so i change the feature because this will be endless endless how to deploy i think there's no Hmm. Yeah, I think I will remove that. Okay, so um, to do, whoops, to do dash and Cool. We'll do that. I need to remove the reference. I, I think I will just like like how to deploy and maybe like um, have just like a step by step deployment to open another tab. So this main will be short. Though it's cool to have everything in one place, right?
but then it's easier yeah I think I will keep the step-by-step -step documentation hey hem XYZ have you ever work with Linode Linode no I'm not sure what it is what's Linode Linode sorry reading it in French follow a youtuber I think he love is it oh did I closed it I closed it yeah so it's a type of cloud EMR I know it's a type of cloud I I really like the Microsoft Cloud Azure so most of the time I, I do that uh, more recently, I'm trying to leverage containers. So this way, if someone want to go in a different cloud, it will be a little bit easier on them. Yeah, you can use it to host UDP server, for example. Okay, that's cool. I've been doing Azure for at least 10 years. So that's why I'm kind of comfortable there. I did a little bit of um, AWS a long time ago. But I, I, I wouldn't say I'm uh, very fluent in the book. And I don't know, like there's so much stuff that I feel I don't have time, but it's a good question. So are you using it? You like it? Or you just like was asking so you could learn more from me about this cloud. Do you know about this cloud? Are you using it? I was wondering if you can scale a, a UDP server to a build a 10k connection. Yeah, that's cool. I don't think there is any bad cloud. I think if, if, if you know, as a, cus a consumer, there's so many options. Look what you like, pick, and that's wonderful. Be open mindset. You know, it's like uh, people say, oh, does Mac or Linux or Windows is the best? It depends what you're doing. It depends what you like. Does uh, JavaScript is better than C Sharp? Like, it depends what you're doing. Sometimes it doesn't matter, sometimes it does. You know, don't try to do a video game if you're in JavaScript. Like, I mean, like on, you know, a console, not like game. Like the drop game. Okay, so step-by-step -step documentation. Obviously, when I say, like, we'll need to clean that, but we'll need also to change that. The step by step documentation, but I don't think we'll have time for that today, but let's add it so I have a trace. To do add um, and about that, uh, yeah, okay, and now how to use it, that's where Oh no, like how to, maybe we could have like a how to manage it and then we'll introduce the different admin. Yeah, I think that will be it. And that's when I say, hey, you could use, we suggest to use Tiny Blazor admin because it's way cooler. But here, if you want to use it like something like that. Yeah, okay. So before how to use, or maybe after how to use it, I think that's cool. There's there many different large. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, see, that's oh, how to use it, how to manage it. How to use it, that's cool. And now that's going to, huh. 
page not found because I removed it okay cool well we need to fix that okay so we need to fix the how to use it too let's add this so on the to do add there it is we have video and we'll need to update that video one thing I could do is change this and leverage my new uh, container that generate animated gif oh let's let's add that like i should create like um an issue and with all the the oh, should create task in github like in the project For an animated GIF. And what's next? Oh, see, Git Kraken board is still there. I just removed the image. Yeah, I need to remove. Okay. Okay. Now I do a to do and there it is. So plenty of work Con contributing, contributing. Maybe we could add stuff there. Okay, so let's like. Issue projects. I have two projects in there. Welcome to a whole new. Oh, yeah, it's true. They have that. Let's learn more in another tab. Okay, uh, you're a shortener. It's private? Why it's private? Da, 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 da. Oof. Oh, see, I have that. Update the readme. Oh, interesting. Ooh, okay, we won't... I won't read that today. Mm-mm-mm. So I s did start. Oh. So I used that. No, twenty twenty one. It's been one year. Understand. I don't understand. It's a little bit big, also. Okay. Okay, so that's code is done. The commission is partially complete. That's cool. Okay. Okay. So I could use project. 
to make the support and follow up. Okay, I could just do so feature request ID allow only X call. Okay, but well, why it's in project? Oh, boards, cool. Ah, okay. Let's make it a little bit smaller. Is it? It's it's big enough, right? I think it's big enough. Okay. Ah, excellent. Like to do is kind of like everything in progress. Maybe I need a, a line between. What do you think? I think I need a line in between where it's kind of like um, in line for next release or uh, accepted, prioritized. What's the, the language for that? You know, like you have everything, all the features. And it's okay, this will make it for the next release uh, plan no accepted if I open this feature front end to do open a new tab let's see example github project board Selected for development is the name. That's a long name. No, no, no. I don't want. I don't want another t stuff. Are you using the board uh, in GitHub, or you're using like a other board? I forgot what I was using before. I was using. Uh, I forgot the tool I was using. What it's called? In progress to do done. Selected, I think, could be good. Let's put selected. I just like game year was true, right? I need I need to make some work. Close that. So let's just add selected for now. And I want to move that. Oh, can I? Okay, I can. I want remove it here. And let's clean that. Can I archive? Archive. Oh, you ask me each time. That's good. Let's. It's okay. Okay. Cool. Reorganize the repo. What's the detail of that? I think Oh no. Oh, okay. Yeah, that was when I was doing Jira. Yeah, indeed. Yeah, I use Zero too. That's why I was like, I was like, what's the tool name I was using? And I like the the board into um, get Kraken, but uh, because you could customize it so much, that was nice. But that's okay. Frank, focus, focus. Okay, let's not do this. Is the URL shortener? Boom. Okay, so this one, uh, that's done. That was when I, we were doing the um, previous version. Switch that identity. 
I think yeah that's what I want to use nope that's even that's not even this Yep, that's archive. That was all stuff for. Um... Okay, you know what? I will archive everything and then we'll recreate as we need them just to speed up the stuff. Bump all, all library. Yeah, no, yeah, no kidding. Uh, see, that was like moving up in the repo. I'm getting out of it. Oh yeah, it's because, okay, so yeah, my initial plan was to have one, okay, that's why I'm doing it. Okay, so initially I was planning to have just a static web app and have the URL shortener part of the backend Azure function, but the default lending of the, the tool need to be the redirect, right? So when you type a URL, you end up there but it's not possible to go straight into the back end. So that's why. Oh, they just deprecated. So um, yeah, um, they just decided to go another way. Um, so it's still supported, but uh, they decided to uh, deprecate it. So see like, it's not there anymore. Uh, boards can go here but yeah oh yeah I report that bug so maybe it's fixed in the new release mm -hmm. um, yeah I just like a lot the those boards sorry no well, maybe I can reach out to hit here yeah that was my board I really like it have everything could put images and stuff like that but uh, now I I think a lot of feature was port into github project the new version because git kraken are doing a lot of things and they I think they are a good partner of github uh, so I think a lot of feature are port in on kind of native okay so yeah, I said I will archive everything, so let's do it. Uh, okay. Just I'm saying that, but then I did that V2 ARL, boom. Okay, that I will keep it. I remember that that's part of the, that was a request. Yeah, cool. Okay. So now everything I typed previously, let's bring it back into here. So uh, the first, okay, so you know what? Let's add that. Let's say, okay, to do add um, fill GitHub project because CB is keep asking me, what are you working on? I'm not tracking anything. Yeah, yeah, I know. Um, so now I have this, so now I could do to do start and it's six. There it is. So now we're tracking something. Yay. I still use, uh, so get cracking. I still use it, uh, as a Git UI, there's now there's now a terminal also available, and it's also in uh, Visual Studio Code. They have the um, Git lens. They bought Git lens, uh, so not now. So I have Git lens. So there's the now Git lens. That's Git Kraken. Um, and I have the license, I had the package to have Git li License Pro, so I have a lot of feature. Um. 
so you could have like the but I'm never like super confident in but yep okay well let's switch branch here so I just want to go in That's the perfect timing to use Git Kraken. So here I'm in the AZRL shortener and I want to be in Y here. Oh, Frank, because you're not in the good project. Oh, see, so here I'm in the good one. So I could just do control shift E to open in Visual Studio Code and voila, boom. Oh, one thing also is I added the, the dev container. So we'll have to, uh, to do that. So uh, reopen in container. Do I want that? I don't think I want that right now because I won't run. Well, let's keep it here. Cool. So now, though, I need to close one instance. So this one, I'm not keeping it. Okay, cool. And close this thing. Cool. Okay. So now we have that. We have it also there okay so what I want to do now is update this stuff so update the what's next add an item and if you think about anything that we should include let me know <clears throat> can use control space to add an item oh interesting okay update this and documentation Okay, so when I do this and type something, let's say update, uh, I'll change. Okay, I don't know why it previously was added to uh, another section. Okay. So do we have everything? <clears throat> I'll add more details, but uh, <clears throat> sorry. <clears throat> okay, let's read that. It was update the readme. Oh yeah, well. All right, uh, the how to use it. How to use it sub section. Update what's next. Get up. Okay, cool. Okay, so now we can add more details. So in the what's next edit. Uh where is the description? Okay, I need to do this. And I'll edit. Oh, that's that's long. Okay. Uh, the what's next was 
remove the git kraken board I think that was probably to use the kernel. Uh -huh. Oh, and maybe I could do like a. Okay. Uh, I just mean. Oh, no, that's what's next. That not what's new. So yeah, just this. Uh, status. It's definitely selected. Can I put some convert into issue? Oh, okay. No. I thought I could um, had labels. Okay. Cool. So let's close this. So let's fix this. Like this, this is definitely selected. And now the description, how to use it. Um, yeah. So we'll need to update the docs to reflect the new version, therefore without any front end. Uh, we should, you know what, I will put this like that. So the default admin is Azure Storage Explorer. Uh, so So we'll need to add a tutorial, not tutorial, tutorial, like that. Bye, need to jump. Hey, have a nice weekend, Stefan. See you next week. Yep, and that's selected. Why says draft? OK. 
Okay. Update the deployment process. Update the uh, bus deployment process by custom domain. I think that's it. Just want to refer the blog post. So if anyone else want to use it, that was a long time ago. Wow, that was a very long time ago. Reopen a repository. That's not what I want. That's the one. Like I want something like this instead. Square back it, parentheses, paste, close parentheses, preview. Yeah. And I did it quickly. So here it's a post that I wrote a little while back. And uh, like it's a tool in the container. FFmpeg is a tool that can manipulate videos. And uh, I create like a simple version of it where you just say, hey, Docker run. And then you specify your where the video is like you need to create a volume for that oh, instead of zooming i could have done this da, 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 da. so yeah so instead you do that where you um control wrong, you create a volume and then specify it and for me it's always creating like a like a preview so it's accelerating and uh and taking only the five first seconds so it's really like when you do a mouse over on uh, on top of uh, any youtube video and uh but if you want to do it and change it that's not what i want uh you could use like a docker container ffmpeg and passing all those parameter and just change it because i think instead of having like a local file you could use a YouTube URL, I think. Never use it, but I know the library. There's a lot of documentation. But um, yeah, you could do that. But if you have the video, you could do this. Explain how to do that in this post. I can I can share that. And uh, let's do that. Note. Boom. If you are interested. 
Cool. So this change, we'll put it here. So if you want to participate, uh, like I'm very open to any PRs. Like as you can see, there was already a bunch of uh, contributor. So when you contribute, I will add you to the contributor list. Except if you tell me, Frank, don't tell anybody I'm helping you. And I'm, I'm fine with that too. The goal is to uh, not pretend I build that tool alone. Okay, so what do we start with? Um, hmm. Maybe we can try to how to deploy and next stream we can do some uh, biceps or arm template. Classic, never thought to make animated GIF with FFmpeg even though I use it for Screen cap picture on C. Hey. Yeah, so have a look to the, the blog posts. Did the blog post show for you? I think yes, right? Um, have a look. Uh, I use it very, like I said, like I simplified in my own version. Uh, using the local video, but I know it also support stream input so i think using that you could take a youtube video put it as a source and generate the preview i just thought like when you look at like a uh, something like this there's nothing tell it, telling you that it's a video but if it was looking like a video then i think you would understand and the my also the tool I generate the FFM I reduce it so it's only a few kilobytes. That's why it kind of a the resolution was less pretty because I want it to be super light. Um, so yeah, so I think I think it, anyway I will I want to use that. Okay, uh, so we did start using this. Um, so now I think we'll go for updating the maybe I could do how to use it yeah because I could deploy then this version and people could start using it while I'm still working on the tiny blazer admin oh yeah we'll, we'll do that so how to use it section We'll do this. I guess I need to convert it to an issue. And then I will have the label and the milestone. And ah, uh, now I understand. Okay, so it's assigned to me. Labels. Uh, how to use it? It will be um, docs, definitely. Um, yeah, it's docs. Milestones, I think I created a V3. That's good. That's a good. So for the chat, uh, we should change now to say to do done. No, I need to, uh, okay. To do done. Uh, done six. 
Yeah, now strike true. Okay, and now we'll do to do start and we're starting to how to use it. That was three. Cool. Any plans for the weekend? Unfortunately, for the Wildcats, there. Oh, let's do it. I just realized if I do this, let's play this. Three YouTube trends that died this year. You gotta just press the board. Hey, what's up? It's Omar Tukoy with Think Media. And the first trend that died this year has to be Can random you hear lifestyle. The sound of that video? Maybe you would my consider mic these because I think you could hear your daily me vlogs my that mic. just show your Let day you know if you can aren't gonna really there. grow your YouTube channel, especially if you're new or starting out. This just isn't working anymore. And I'm just so sorry to tell you that there was a time where you absolutely could just turn on the camera and show people what you were doing every day all day but that's not really going to get you seen or discovered could you sound very cracky okay balloon fiesta here bit hot but sound be nice to catch a glimpse Initially, here you two, then video took over. Okay. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah, I mute myself. So, like, my mic is here. Uh, because I'm like the, the, the screen you're seeing, it's an external PC, so I'm using a capture card, and I was not sure how the sounds was coming up in. <laughs> that's fine that's fine so balloon fiesta here does it mean it's a child birthday okay so update docs to reflect the new version the front end and the default okay so what we need to do is go in vs code right and now in the read me we need to go in the section how to use it and there's many different way to use the blah, blah 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 so this is not what we want to go oh a balloon festival like a mongolfier is it how do you say uh, it's just balloon in english okay that's cool that's cool. I've never been in a, a balloon. The big hot balloon, right? That's nice. We have one here too, uh, close by, uh, but close by in like an hour distance. So I'm assuming like a, a few hundred kilometers. Um, okay. I don't want, like, as if you're reading that for the first time, so how to use it. So, okay. So, um, oh, I should bump it up. Uh, books, books, voila. That's bigger. That's better. Yeah, hot hair balloon. One, one. As a kid, very sedated apart from the landing. 
And I think I would love to do that. I, I would shoot cool pictures. I, can't, I think I should go to the festival and just shoot pictures. I think it will be like even from the from the ground. It should be awesome. Okay, so here what I want to explain is a little bit. When you install that service, it's just a service. It's a backend stuff. So now you need to connect to it and use different tools. So AZ URL shortener. is a service an api an api right. oh what's happening what's happening I don't know what's happening. <laughs> I missed it. What's happening? I don't I don't see any alerts. I don't see anything in the the chat. Did I miss something? What I'm missing? Oh, a new follower. Well, thank you for the follow. I guess it's me. Yes. Yes. Yes, sir. Welcome aboard. Welcome into my cloud. Uh, because, yeah, now I see it in the um, stream manager. I have that little notification. Well, thank you. Welcome aboard. I'm glad you like it. Enough <laughs> to follow. <laughs> We're building a bunch of stuff, open source. I uh, work at Microsoft, so I tend to use Azure Cloud.net. Sometimes we have um, fun with uh, JavaScript CloudBot. So if you uh, if you type in the in the chat, drop that's not me who created that. That's InstaFluff, but I have CB that is there. That is, um, I forgot. Like, is it Cloud? Yeah, that's CB over there. So CB for CloudBot, and then it became C-E-E-B-E-E. -E -E -E. That's his name. Uh, we build that, so it's in JavaScript. Again, using InstaFluff. Uh, I forgot what it is. The web, 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 and the... He created, a, he wrapped a library, so it's super easy to create a chatbot on Twitch. So I create CB for fun. Yeah, welcome aboard. So we're working today. I don't know when you join so we're working on uh, updating the documentation of this project it's a URL shortener it's completely free it costs about nothing to use it uh, maybe like I think it will be cut it, it will cost nothing or maybe it will cost like less than uh, 25 cents by month to use it honestly it, yeah don't expect to pay a lot for that it's working. Okay, so Azure UL Shortener, should we put that in like bold? Like this, Azure UL Shortener. I think it, like it's a little bit too repetitive. We are in that, yeah, like we won't do that. It's an API that doesn't have any admin URL by default. There it is, default. There's are many different way to manage your short URLs from direct HTTP call to a fancy website. You see the complete list of front end here, blah, 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 which instruction how to deploy them. Um, now what we can do is say, We suggest to pair it with this. Yeah, okay. So to use it, blah, 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 blah. We 
we suggest to we suggest tiny blazer admin website blah, 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 blah. it's a static web app over um is it self-hosted can i use it on azure web app because i love azure web app yeah so uh that url shortener use azure functions so it go it's deployed in azure functions uh and uh yeah so the url shortener is an azure function and then i create a static web app that then you connect to the same storage and update everything so uh yeah and this version like the this version is complex right the v2 right now the la the latest version in the in main if i switch back to um, github if you go into main in v2 i was using azure active directory so it's complex to install and uh, different things but uh yeah blazer admin url it's a static web app that I, we create here uh with statistics uh pretty cool um secure and everything um but so what the plan is to then split it so azure ul shortener it will be just a redirect so it just redirect that's it so you deploy that when it receive a short URL, it will catch the last part of the URL. I call that vanity. And then search into Azure storage to find a match. Grab the long URL, redirect the user to that long URL. That's what it does. Then with the admin, what we do is we can create new one. You can do stuff like that. But if you don't want that fancy things, you could use Azure Storage Explorer. And that's what I use right now because things are a little bit broken. So that's what I use. Hey, see you later, Game Lord. So yeah, you have like a... Does it work? Hey, thanks. Thanks for the bits. Yes, sir. So see, that's my uh, my blazer I'm in. If I go to secret, can I log in? If I go to secret, oh, that's interesting. That's interesting. It shows a different screen. That's not the screen I want you to uh, to show. Why are you using that thing? Interesting. Oh, there it is. So now I could log in. So I have a login. Cool. So now let's try that again, like this. So I have that. So if it's still working, let's zoom a little bit. Uh, so now you could go at URL manager. Yeah, it's broken. That's why I need to change it. Um, I could try another one. Let's try that. If I go here instead and say admin. Uh, okay, that one works. Let's go here. 
So it's another version. So when you land, you're here. So like you could go in URL shortener and you have like your stats. So for example, I could go here and ask the statistics. So I have a graph here that I could see uh, for that specific URL. Um, I could uh, edit it. So if I open it, I will have this. So with the title for me to read the long URL, I could add schedule. That was also a thing that was really useful. I used that when I was doing Hello World. So depending on when you were, I was going, uh, I was redirecting you to the um, to the live stream or to the archive. So you could add schedule. So the 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 shortener URL will act differently if you want. You could archive it if you want. Uh, you could copy, let's say I want to copy this, so I could just copy it. I'm not sure it will work, but let's try it. Yeah, so it worked. have the short URL. Uh, and then you could click for the stats, and I think it show you all the stats. But it could be broken right now. So yeah. Oh no, just long. Oh yeah, because it's forever. <laughs> I should, I should, I should, oh. Who's lending? Jeff. Jeff hat. Jeff is lucky today. Jeff is lucky. So yeah, let's show you the, the stats of the other stuff. So that's the tool. That's the tiny blazer admin. So right now it's using Azure Active Directory, passing a token to the Azure function, and it was complex to deploy. And the idea of that tool is to make it simple. So that's why we are changing it and also Azure change evolve all the time, right? I use uh, in preview uh, stuff in it. So that's why I'm changing it now. So the URL shortener will be just the redirect and then admin will be like an admin tool. So I could use the Azure static uh, web app security instead. So deployment will, so like it will be two clicks to deploy two apps. So it should be pretty easy. Well, that's the plan. Thank you a lot. Uh, yes, sir. That's pretty cool. Uh, thank you for the bits. A follow a bits. That's a good day. <laughs> that's a really cool day. Um, uh, yeah. So let's see so if I do. I think it's stats. Yeah. So who's. Oh, no. Uh, scores. Stats is show my stats. If I do scores, this, yeah. So who's leading today? Oh, copper beard, Fred out a cat, and Jeff Hat with ninety seven. That will be hard to uh, to beat, right? That will be hard to beat. Okay, so yeah, so see the time flying. <laughs> the here. word is with the. <laughs> I'm having trouble. Just go down. I was trying to find uh okay so uh yeah okay so let's switch back to our visual studio code so we could at least have like a section um yeah okay 
So we're here. How to use it? A0 Shortener is an API that doesn't have any admin UI by default. There are many different way, ways to manage your short URL from a Nate from direct HTTP call to a fancy website. See the complete list of admin front end here or admin admin tools. Yeah, let's uh, let's tools uh, here because they maybe are not UI, right? Uh, and then we'll need to add back those uh, with instruction to deploy to the with the instruction to deploy and use them. That's cool, right? Okay. We suggest blah la 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 la. It's a static web app. However, it's also possible So by default, without installing, uh, before deploying any other, any other project, by default, um, By default, without any specific admin tool, you can use. Uh, we, we, re we recommend, yeah. We recommend. Is it. Yeah, recommend or. Rec yeah, recommend Azure Storage Explorer. I think I did have some. Um, some stuff for that tool, though. Let's go here. Yeah, that's the tool. That's what I want. Zoop. I think the video of the project should be in um Maybe how to contribute or something like that. Yeah. So let's have a look. Mm -hmm. 
Right, right now it's how to deploy is uh, yeah, how to deploy like uh, let's change it for TBD because now it's redundant. Redundant. How to deploy? I don't want this. So there it is. Cool. How to deploy, how to use it. Azure NS and then now. Yeah, we need to fix that link. And we'll need to have stuff. So here the complete tool was into src admin tool readme so i think we'll we'll need to uh oh no no i need to change it okay so requesting to change team color team and i need to go in light That's not fun. And I want... So until the end of the, the stream, because like I'm, I'm finishing in five minutes though. Yeah, that's your fault, yes sir. So how to deploy, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, okay, so here, that was initially into the, uh, no, how to use it. So see, the, it was in admin tool, readme. But right now, it's not there, right? So if we go back to here, admin tool is not there in this, in this version. Is it there? Admin tool. Yeah, I have it. So we could we could use it. Oh yeah, you could use Postman. Come on. Tiny Blazer website, Power Tomate, PowerShell. Cool. So I we'll have that. So that's the file we want. And I'm guessing media. But it will it will be next time. So let's go here. Okay. Um do it and now if I do this no how do you is it like this I forgot you could create some check mark okay this one work Well, because I didn't have anything after. Um, cool. 
cool. So now we have that. Uh, update. Oh yeah, okay. Anyway, that's cool. So now let's push that. Come on. So here, read me. Yep, okay. Uh, let's do Comment this excellent and now and now um now uh should we should we raid someone any suggestion on raiding we could raid someone right I'm trying to see uh, if anyone is is available um, feeling maybe for Maya, the the artist behind any uh, pixel flush pixel thing game. More bits, thank you, yes sir. Like uh, very appreciated. Uh, oh, you came from uh, Lana. Oh, cool. Did she raid? I was looking to raid her, but uh, look like she's having trouble. Yeah, I think I will will go and see Maya. Maya is behind the the drawing of a uh, pixel, like the the when you do drops, that's her art. So let's go see her, um, and I will do something like save. And I think stop. No, not stop. Okay, thank you. And I uh, will be back on streaming next Friday to continue this project. And maybe some code, maybe more. See you there. But now, let's go see Maya and let her know that you like the drops art. Have a good weekend, Claudies. Bye.